continue uh, that one is potential we call this potential is stream yeah and this kind of potential on the AVL you can only found in the AVL series 4 and 3 yeah so the function of the stream is to adjust the additional yeah additional accessories yeah where it's attached to this AVL so example when you have accessories like power factor controller then you can adjust from this potential so as you remember i explained you from a1 a2 yeah this will be connected with the accessories so to adjust these accessories example the accessories is power factor controller then you can adjust from the trim yeah with this potential but uh, that is very seldom yeah to to get it that one so the next is potential we call this drop so drops also can you you can only found yeah in avr series 4 and 3 so what is the function of this drop is to uh, to make lower or reduce the output yeah the output voltage where where the load yeah where the load was uh, was uh, uh, was was in the two generator in parallel yeah so when you have two generator in parallel or more yeah this one uh, the function is to reduce or to lower the output voltage yeah when when the the three or four generator was uh, in parallel uh, how to setting this one how, how to adjust this one so when you turning with the close wise yeah or the right right turning yeah this mean you uh, increasing the drops voltage what does mean it mean you uh, you will uh, make more voltage uh, will be drops yeah so it's mean if you more turning to the uh, to the right or close wise you will make more more uh, lower or reduce voltage yeah on the on the uh, on the on the two ge two generator or more when you get parallel so that is the function of the drops potential and the drops potential only can be you can be used where is the generator in parallel so when when this one uh, when the generator is not in parallel you cannot use this one so the drop only can use when the generator in parallel with the load yeah okay so that is the function of the drop fault yeah fault this one potential is fault we call fault so this is trim drop and fault so what is this potential fault functions yeah the function of this one to adjust the output voltage from the generator when you are turning this one with close wise yeah this this potential when you turning close wise it will be uh, uh, adjust the output voltage from the generator so to to increase the output voltage yeah you have to turning this potential clockwise and if you want to low the output full tank from the generator so you can uh, turning this one anti clockwise so if you turn in right yeah clockwise it will be rise the output from the generator so let's say from 0 to 100 
300, 400, you have to from 0 to 400, you have to turning to clockwise or turning to the right. And if you want to lower the output from the generator from 400 to 0, so you must turning anti clockwise or to the left. Okay, that is the function of the fault potential here. Yeah, okay, so we move to they call this uh, dip. Okay, next we go to dip potential. So, as you see, this is dip potential. So, the dip potential you can only found in three types of the FL is named MX321, SX421, MX341. So, you can only found on these three types that is have deep potential so deep potential the function of this deep potential is regulated the instantaneous voltage drops or active voltage when there is a suddenly additional load with the aim of helping lighting yeah to light yeah to light the momentary load on the prime mover or governor so the instantaneous voltage drops depend on the response of the main drive rotations from regulator or mechanical governor. So that is the function of the depotential. Yeah. So when you adjust this, where you turning to the clockwise on the this depotential, it will increase the angle of inclinations on the characteristic of voltage and heads so this is function of the deep potential yeah so next we go to this terminal yeah this terminal you have uh, four pole yeah four pole uh, 60 heads four pole uh, 50 hertz, 6 pole 60 hertz, and 6 pole 50 hertz. So, this terminal, this is we call uh, frequency selections. Yeah, frequency selection, and we call this terminal number 3 and terminal number 2 and terminal number 1. So, if you make jumper. Yeah, this is frequency selection. Yeah, so when you want to make uh, or decided which heads, yeah, and then you had four, four, four pole or six pole with sixty or fifty heads, you can choose or make it bridge or jumper on this uh, on this on terminal. Yeah, uh, bridge. Yeah, jumper bridge. So as you see now here number three and number two, yeah. So it's mean uh, four pole with fifty heads. This one. So this is adjusted with four pole sixty heads. So if you move to number, uh, if you uh, bridge jumper number three to number one, yeah, with four pole, yeah, this one uh, will be four pole sixty heads, yeah, number three and number one. And if you have make bridge jumper number three to number two, it means you have four pole fifty heads, like now, yeah. And then if you make jumper from two to one, so this is uh, this is uh, with six pole sixty heads, yeah. And then if no link, no at all, so you take it out this uh, without connection, so it mean. Uh, six pole of 50 hertz okay uh, so this is function of the terminal is frequency selections so from this you can choose what frequency you use with the with the four pole and the six pole yeah and here this one this is potential they call euro yeah so as you see this potential is sealed so it's mean we're not allowed to adjust that actually but uh, i can explain so the euphro is uh, 
what is the euphro euphro is under frequency roll off under frequency frequency roll off so what is the function of this euphro is protect to protect on as protection on av area against the low rotation of the main mover or mechanical governor yeah. so this is the main function of the under frequency roll off as protection on the FAR against the low rotations of the main mover or mechanical governor yeah so please note for the MX series if the LED lights up yeah this there is LED lights red one yeah here small yeah. if this LED lights up and the output voltage is disappeared yeah so this indicated there is a trip on the excitator Ex excitator yeah or over voltage on the OVR, OVR. so when this is LED red line is on so how to adjust this one so run the generator at 90% rotation of the nominal rotation about 1425 rpm yeah about for uh, the type of the four pole yeah four north pole from the generator and rotate it the euro this one take it out the seal yeah potential a counter clockwise so that the led beside the potential lights up so this will be on yeah then increase the prime remover prime sorry prime mover rotation so the led turns off so after you uh, yeah you do this uh, increasing the rotation from the the generator with 90% yeah, about 1420 rpm with the 4 node 4 node pole so you turning the con counter clockwise this the potential then the led will be like up yeah light up is or on and then increase the prime move rotation so it will be turns off if you turn it clockwise it will be reversed the fall and head characteristic or visa versa okay that is the function of the euro yeah euro is mean under frequency roll off okay so next we go to the next potential this one we call uh, stability selections yeah the stability selections okay next uh, this one we call potential stability yeah the potential stability uh, the function of this potential to serve serve to adjust the stability of the generator output voltage so to adjust the stability of the generator output voltage from voltage generator output it can be stable make it stable stable yeah with this potential meter so how to setting this the setting method can be determined by running the edge generator without load then rotating the stability potential clockwise until the generator output is stable then turning again slowly the stability potential counter clockwise until the generator voltage start to become unstable and from that point you can determine the position where the output voltage looks stable on the voltmeter so that is how you adjusted that one yeah the output to make stop to make output full tech stable yeah with the stability potential okay next we move to the next potential this one we call it exciter trip yeah exciter trip this one yeah as you see it's it's seal it it's seal it yeah so it will be connected with uh, xx x1 or xx xx yeah x xx this terminal 2 yeah, yeah. this one and this one x x and x this is this is connected yeah with this one so uh the exciter trip potential you can only found in uh, ivr type mx series yeah so you can only found this one in mx series yeah, like this this is mx series 341 so this exciter trip you can only found on this mx series 
so what is the function of this one is to serve the adjustment of exciter maximum permissible permissible or permitted failure to protect the generator from the over excitations disturbance disturbance which may be caused by the overloads or over voltage so that is the function of the exciter trip so it's to protect the maximum permitted failure from the excite excitations yeah so that is the main function of this exciter trip so actually uh, the position had been set yeah, from the factory so it's sealed yeah as you see so you you, you don't need to adjust anymore it's already uh, already been set by the factory but by the way if you uh, want to know how to adjust it so it's the way I can explain a little bit so the way is to adjust this one you can give approximately 60 to 70 volt DC from this yeah as I told you from the XX to XX yeah you can give this voltage 60 say 67 about 67 to 73 volt dc and then output from the this one uh, yeah from the that terminal yeah and when the generator is loaded then turning this potential close wise to increase the excitation trip limit yeah. or vice versa then the output from the this terminal yeah x x and x it will be changed yeah so that is the function so you can you can see it from that terminal you can measure it okay uh, hope it's clear so next my friend we go to the chamber of selection from from the power yeah from the power for the power so here you see there is three terminal uh, this one we call terminal uh, C and this one D and this one A so as you see there is already jumper bridge here yeah and it's mean this one is selection of the power yeah for the generator how much kilowatt you you want to adjust it yeah, from 90 kilowatt to over 550 kilowatt according to this MX series yeah so the chamber selections yeah this functions to select the power rating of the FER used so this is selecting power rating as I said before from 90 kilowatt to 550 kilowatt so when you like to choose the ratings uh, under of 90 kilowatt yeah, so what you gonna do to make the jumper or the bridge from terminal number uh, terminal uh, uh, not number alphabet uh, C yeah C terminal C to terminal alphabet A so that's jumper you will make jumper uh, bridge from terminal C to terminal A so that's in the end yeah this one and this one that win that means you choose the rating power below 90 kilowatt then if you choose uh, between 90 kilowatt to 550 kilowatt power rating so you have to connect uh, terminal number C and terminal number B sorry terminal alphabet C terminal alphabet B yeah C and B so it's mean you choose the power rating between 90 Nine zero kilowatt, ninety kilowatt to five hundred fifty kilowatt, and if you want to choose over five hundred fifty kilowatt, then you must 
Jumper or Bridge or make link from terminal alphabet B to terminal alphabet A. Yeah, so that is the function of this uh, chamber selection for rating power selections. Yeah, for the generator. So, guys, my friends, so that's all I can explain to you. I hope this knowledge which I can share I mean I already share is uh, benefit for you all and thank you for watching and I hope uh, every engineer yeah or maybe other engineer or maybe not engineer yeah can uh, learning and know basically how its function of this old terminal here yeah and the potential where I already explained on this video thank you for watching I hope can give us more knowledge and don't forget uh, knowledge is a power uh, also please support this channel by subscribe share and comment and like thank you for your support and God bless you See you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.